Good evening. A brother and sister have been discovered dead in a double Easter tragedy in Victoria Park. The murder probe sparked a 17-hour manhunt across the city and tonight homicide detectives are questioning a neighbour. On a day most spend celebrating new beginnings, a tragic end in the heart of Victoria Park. A brother and sister killed at the Leonard Street home in a suspected Easter Sunday double murder. Oh, I'm very shocked and sad and just a numb feeling, you know. One of the victims is 67-year-old Marie Collins. Nine News has been told police arrived in the multi-storey complex about four yesterday afternoon when they received a call from a distressed family member who'd arrived at the home and found one of the victims. Well, they were seeking police advice. I'm not aware of the exact nature of what they advised. Police did attend, though, obviously, as a result of their call. About 15 police cars and two ambulances... And then we seen the paramedics go upstairs and then we seen the paramedics go back downstairs and that's when we sort of all of us knew that it was something serious. It's understood paramedics spent almost half an hour at the property. It was during this time police came across the second victim. Neighbours say in the hours before the deaths they'd heard what sounded like an argument coming from the top floor. And we started hearing yelling and screaming and and shouting. And Police won't say what injuries the victim sustained or what kind of weapon was used. This morning, two cars were towed from the apartment as police made a breakthrough. After a 17-hour manhunt, a male neighbour was arrested, taken in for questioning. Police spent the night combing the Washington Gardens apartment, removing boxes and bags of evidence and door-knocking residents, the home now key to a twin tragedy. And Mia Edgerton Warburton is in Victoria Park. Mia, police will be there well into the night. Michael, the number of forensic officers here has been scaled back, but we understand they will be here for quite some time. Police won't say why the pair was targeted, but they're adamant there is no danger to the wider community. As for the neighbour, he remains in police custody tonight, but still no charges have been laid. Michael. Mia, thank you for the update.